So this year, these racks here have... The centre of memory is full of the predictable, but also the strange and unusual. And if you look at this one year, <laughs> it's from Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's Arnie. Yes. Arnie and Madiba. Mm -hmm. Here's another gift that was given to Madiba. He's behind her. He's behind her, yes. Who is that? That's Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> as well as being a historical record of Nelson Mandela's life, it's a place the public can cut through the mythology. His most personal documents are in the vault. This is his mother's death certificate. His mother died in 1968 and he asked for permission to attend the funeral and as the son he wanted to bury her but he wasn't allowed. There are private letters to his then wife, Winnie, and diary entries, one which details an argument with his current wife, Grasa Michelle. Is this sense of carrying a burden uh, in relation to this image of him, the saintly image. He became the face of the struggle, but I think increasingly as he's grown older, felt very uncomfortable with that. This is Madiba's office since 2002. Uh, Madiba used to come in here almost every day and then as he uh, uh, retired, really retired in 2004, he reduced the amount of time he used to come. Here, Mandela was surrounded by people who inspired and influenced him. Famous faces filled the shelves. Few knew the complexities of a man whom millions look up to. But the Centre of Memory offers insight into Nelson Mandela, the man and the myth. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg.